She's the girl from Gunnedah who definitely knows how to turn heads. At the age of 13, Miranda Kerr was thrust into the spotlight after winning a magazine modelling competition. Her parents, Therese and John, couldn't be more proud. We're looking around at the photos of our daughter and they look at me and I go, oh, that's my daughter up there. And they go, OK, yeah, right, mm, OK. <laughs> it's like, it's a bit embarrassing at times. I go, but this is a mother and they go, all oh, right, now I can see where, where it comes from. Trading on her trademark dimples, she was quickly dubbed the next Elle McPherson. And it wasn't long before Miranda hit the big time in New York. I've just rolled with everything that's come my way and I ended up here. Victoria's Secret loved her look and in 2006, Kerr became the first Aussie angel. Just bring all new angels wireless. Only at Victoria's Secret. She's dating Hollywood hottie Orlando Bloom. But this glamour gal likes to keep him under wraps. <laughs> Stop it. This is about David Jones, it's not sorry, Orlando, sorry, OK? Sorry, David, sorry. Now she's back down under for a brief visit, strutting her stuff on the catwalk for David Jones. Last night. It looks good. <laughs> <laughs> No, you're I'm doing a running thinking. commentary like, oh, you want one of those. Yeah, where can I get one of those? Yeah. How much is that? <laughs> Miranda is with us now. Hi, Miranda. Hi. You've been home for a week now. I have, yeah. Busy, and, busy. And you're here for another couple of weeks. We are, yes. Yeah. Going around to each state, doing fashion in-store workshops. And, of course, we have the show in Melbourne as well. Yeah. Are you missing those you love? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hint, hint, nudge, nudge, of course. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. it's nice to catch up with family. This is about David Jones. It's not about my personal <laughs> no. life. It's great to be with family because your folks are here. Yes, my folks are here yeah. now. They've just relocated to Sydney, which is great. Really hey, good. It's great to see you on the great show. Great to have you back. Yep. When you arrived in Australia, there was this massive, now international controversy about the banker. I know. On his little computer screen there. <laughs> Poor guy. What did you he think did, of the whole thing? He got himself into a bit of trouble, but I'm, you know, I'm glad he didn't lose his job. No. Did, did you, uh, have you had a chance to contact him or is this the only contact he's had with you? This is the only contact he's had with me but you know I was willing to sign the petition yeah, it's very for sweet him and I'm just glad he didn't lose his job. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. Uh, you've been very busy since we saw you last. I Bring have. us up to speed with you know, all things Miranda in the last 12 months or well, so. Well I've been travelling around the world generally working six days a week two different countries a week um, the jet lag sometimes gets a little overwhelming. Yeah. Um, I've developed my own skincare range in the last three and a half years mm -hmm. called Cora. It's now available exclusively in David Jones. Yeah. And that was born out of my passion for all things organic and natural. And uh, basically, the difference between our product and other products is that it contains noni, which is a super healing. And it's got all your essential fatty acids and antioxidant packs. So mm. it's really rejuvenating for the skin. <laughs> Clara, you'll be pleased to know yes, that. Uh, yeah. that's and good. I bought you some products. I know, I yes. saw them. Oh, good. We've got to mention, though, that this you're not just a Johnny come lately when it comes to that stuff, because that's how you started out, isn't yes. it? Yes. Um, I studied nutrition yeah. and I'm um, very passionate about health and well-being. And I think life's about a balance. It's not always about eating healthy, but it, it's about having a balance. And I'm pretty much like 80% healthy, 20% indulgent. And I am that way because I think it's important to fill your body with the amount of nutrients, you know. Do, do you ever... Go advice. like to twenty one percent indulgent. Yeah. <laughs> like sometimes. That's just average. That's yeah, just, yeah, you yeah. Know. Oh, what's uh, what's uh, indulgent for you though? Because I well, think Well, my grandma cooks a delicious, you know, meat pie. Mm -hmm. And for my blood type, which I generally follow eating for my blood type because I find I can better when I do. Yeah. And um, so I'll indulge in the meat pie that my grandma yeah. makes, or sometimes it might be fried chicken or chocolate link balls. You know. oh, yeah. So but that sounds like just a normal like day that, for me. Is that if wrong? you eat like that all the time, you don't have the energy that's required to yeah. do my job, and I wouldn't be able to perform like I did. So I've really got to make sure I'm getting the vitamins from my veggies. Yeah. Now, you know what I'm thinking? You go, like in a different part of the world every single day, I'm mm -hmm. thinking you've probably got enough time to sit down and write a book. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> when oh, I'm travelling, I wrote a book, Treasure oh. Yourself. I uh, yes. just finished it about two and a half weeks ago. It's now with the publishers, and it's set to be released in... August. 
I feel like one of those empires. I know. It's yeah. fabulous. It's yeah. fa who, why would I buy that book, Miranda? What, will I, what would I well, get? Like, would I buy it for my mum or for myself? Or? Um, I wrote it having young women in mind. Yeah. Um, the target audience, I would say, is about 15 years old. It's yeah. just trying to encourage young women to embrace themselves and their individuality. Right. But I have had other people read it and yeah. proofread it and really enjoy so you, it. You buy it for your mum. You, you buy it for your mum, then I'll borrow it for my daughter. And then it's just about em embracing, you know, the fact that we're are all beautiful individuals yeah. and a sunflower can't be compared to a rose because it's just like us as women we can't be compared to each other because we're all unique in our own way. Such a great message coming from you for little way. girls. That's yeah. Cool. Yeah. At, at 15 I, I just miss out though. No, no, time. you can read it. I'm sure you'd love it. <laughs> um, of course we're mentioning you're here for David Jones. Four David Jones. So you're about to show us some new Trend. Should we bring on the girls? Yeah, of course. Okay, let's start. Now, this is we're calling this the Mademoiselle look. Yes. Is that right, Miranda? This is the Mademoiselle look. It's very chic inspired, very Parisian, and uh, this is from Woodford and Co. And another hot look this tr this season is the ankle boot that we have here, what? which is quite versatile. You can dress it up, dress it down. Because the ankle boots have been around for a little while. It's great to know they're still going to be okay this season. They are, yeah. yeah. They're a big must-have this season. What do I need to do to pull off a beret, though, Miranda? Because I'm, I'm scared of berets. What do I need to, to pull off that look? Well, as Annika has here, she has her hair pulled back, which I think is nice, like in a little bit of a ponytail. Yeah. And that's a beret by witchery. Okay. I've, I've seen you that. pull off a beret. Well, it's a great job. It's, it's cute. A the I, know, I know I love them, but I just get a little bit scared because I never quite know. You know, I don't want to look too French. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we'll stop eating croissants. Then. Next up is uh, country. Now, this, this is, is a, a, a nice, cozy one for autumn. Yeah, this is a good gathering. one to wear in Gunnedah. <laughs> and the podium we have here, and also Gorman Gorman jacket. Lovely Mark Jacobs bag. The country-inspired look is all about tweeds and texture and the different use of fabrics. Also about layering and it's a beautiful, nice, neutral palette. Well, would we see much, will we see much, much tartan around this winter, yes, Miranda? Yes, yes, it is all about tartan and the mixing with the tweed jacket as well. Could Kylie get away with a beret with that outfit? She could actually, definitely. Okay. So, okay, let's bring on the next one. What is, uh, oh, you can ask this one. Because you don't know. I don't know how to say it. Bourgeois chic. Bourgeois chic. <laughs> Now this is an elegant, sophisticated look. It's from Alana Hill. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, it has it's all about the detail, and as you can see, there's a beautiful. If we will just have a turn around a little bit, we've got a beautiful bow <gasps> on the back. Oh. <laughs> Lovely detail. Just, I love that. And it's about using not only the natural coloured palette, but popping with um, beautiful, rich reds. Um, like we have here with the shoes and the handbag. Hey, I'm loving the shoes. We mm. need a close-up of great. those shoes. Aren't mm. they fabulous? Because they're not red, Larry. They're more maroon. They're, I was going to yeah, say, it, it's, it's just such a bourgeois, <laughs> chic, chic, chic look. It's beautiful. That really is lovely. It right. is. That. Very elegant. Very Parisian as well. Mm. Okay, All sophisticated. Right. Miranda, can you please tell me about yes. this? I'm looking at this look and I'm thinking Metro Modern uh, yes. springs to mind. Metro Modern, <laughs> yes. This is a trend we have. It's um, ginger and smart, and it's beautiful mix of bright colours in with your classic navies. So it's about shapes and beautiful, like we have the beautiful classic trench here as well. See, every woman... She looks gorgeous. Every woman should have a trench coat, do you think? I think it's a good staple. Yeah, that's nice. Whether nice. it be in the beautiful navy or in the caramel colour, it's a great staple for every wardrobe. And this one's from Ginger and Smart. Mm. Beautiful little handbag from Jimmy Choo. That's All available with David Jones oh, right now. Fabulous. Such a sexist thing to say. What? Well, because if I go out in a trench coat, I get in trouble. Yes, but that's because you... you have nothing on underneath it. Yeah, but oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. That, That's the law then, is it? And you keep opening oh, it. Fair enough. That's strangers. <laughs> but that's a different thing. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for Actually, having speaking me. Speaking of fabulous clothes, I know everybody at home yes. is loving what you're wearing. Can you share yes. with us what, what that is? This is a beautiful willow design. Absolutely love it. It is lovely. Very comfortable and quite easy to wear. And floaty. And the shoes yes. are to die for. The shoes are Yves Saint Laurent. Yes, I so hope you don't go. forget to take those. <laughs> oh, that's a Thank you, Miranda. Right. You've made Larry's Looking day. Looking fabulous. Thank you. Lovely to see you. Thanks for having me on the show. Thank you. We love having you here. If you're in Sydney and you'd like to meet Miranda, um, you'll have to make your way past Larry first. In you a trench coat. Yes. <laughs> She'll be at the David Jones, Elizabeth Street store at 12.30 today, doing a signing for her new Cora skincare line. Thanks, Miranda. They're not going to let me in with David Jones. No, they're not. Cute.
you to see you in a trench coat, are they? No, no way, no way near. Right. Still to come. It's not me, it's you. Why more people are dumping their GPs. Plus, so I was thinking about getting some Botox, but.